Hi, this is Dan, and I'm here with some Let's Play of Monster Train. So this is a game that's out on Steam today, uh, May 21st, 2020. And uh, this is the first time I've ever played it. I've seen a few uh, Let's Plays on uh, on YouTube, on Northern Lion's uh, channel. Um, uh, but uh, this is, you know, my first time. I just uh, got and installed the game and... So I'm trying to do it. So the premise here is that uh, we are the forces of hell and heaven has invaded and nearly put out all the hellfire. But uh, we have a train that is um, transporting the, uh, the last remaining shard of the pyre uh, that we're going to need to, uh, to relight the fires of, in the depths of hell. Um, but the forces of heaven are trying to stop us. So, uh, yeah, the, the premise is a little bit weird, but I think the gameplay is interesting. So, uh, we'll see how we, how we go here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is our train, and we go, we have some paths. And it's sort of a, uh, a multi-level thing. Well, we'll see when we get into the next screen here, kind of how it works. And there's probably some tutorialization, uh, since this is my first playthrough. Mm -hmm. And it probably has to load some assets and stuff, since I just uh, started the game. And, you know, as my... Uh, if the performance isn't great, uh, yeah, um, I probably blame my computer rather than the uh, the game because I'm a little bit underpowered probably, and I have too much stuff going on in the background. So, heaven's priests, these disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. All right, well, let's fight them. All right, so here's our train. Protect your pyre. This is your pyre. If it takes too much damage from enemy attacks, your run is over. All right. Enemies have boarded your train. Enemies enter at the lowest level and move up one level every turn. If they reach the top, they'll attack your pyre. Yeah, so this is a, it's a, basically a card, card builder kind of uh, game. Summon units to defend your train. You can play each unit card once per battle. Okay, so presumably they're saying uh, we want to get this guy uh, right here. Each floor of the train has limited capacity. The amount of space a unit will take up is indicated by the number of these yellow circle pips on its card. All right, so this guy is using up two of the five spaces that we have here. Um, Okay, well, should never exist to begin with. Um, and we have these so direct damage spells that we can use here. And we have this sort of uh, more minion type guy we'll bring in here. And we've got the the mana here to. Uh, Cast some more. All right. So they attack, and then we attack. And this guy had multi strike, so he attacked twice. Yep. And then they moved up. Yeah. So these guys are the the winged, right? They're like angels, right? I mean, we're devils, but yeah, call them the winged here. Um. So let's get this guy in here all 
All right, this guy is a little bit hurt. Uh, but I think we're better off getting rid of the the guy that uh, heals. Brief respite. All right. Uh, so let's bring this guy out. Uh, heal this guy. And heal this guy. Now I think the uh, the main boss comes in. Yeah, defeat the boss to win the battle. His relentless ability means that combat will continue in this room until you or he is defeated. Okay, so he does four damage per turn. Which will kill this guy in two turns. Um, restoring is not really going to do make much difference there. So, I mean, we might as well just hit him with this. And I'll bring this guy up to the top floor, just in case. I mean, I guess we might as well. Oh wait, maybe it will make a difference because it, it does regen. Yeah, I was watching because uh, the ones I watched were apparently on a on a previous patch uh, where that uh, spell didn't do. Um, Regen, it was just a straight healed. heal. All right, well, we won our first combat, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and we get some points, I guess, and then we get rewards. So some coins and some cards. Okay, uh, what do we like here? Get an imp. So it's like a kind of like a weak spell, and then sort of like a damage buff. I kind of like this, but it's expensive. Eh, I'm gonna take it anyway. I think rage is kind of like temporary strength. All right. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of looking between these two. I think I like Glimmer. All right, and then so each each sort of le between level between battles, you can sort of pick a path. All right, so this one, we could either improve our magic stuff and get an awoken unit, or this way, we can uh, improve our units and get a hellhorn unit. So I think I want to go this way. I'll get one of these. Resolve triggers after combat. Rated warrior slay apply. I do kind of like this. Is rage, and then if he kills something, you get more rage. Um. 
Yeah, let's go with this guy. And then we'll go here, and we ought to be able to upgrade him. Alright. So I think... Well, I... He... On one hand, this is... Good, because it makes him... Stronger, but I think I want... I want it to be very beefy. Yeah, let's let's do this too, because I know that um, you get options to sort of duplicate cards. So having a really awesome card in the deck is uh, um, pretty good, I think. You know, potentially. Barbed Disciples. These spiked foes will make direct attacks more painful. Using spells from afar will let you fight without sacrificing your units. Okay. So they're going to have spikes. Okay, so this guy, Disciple Protector Armor 25, I can take before losing health. Okay. And he has spikes too, but he doesn't do any damage. This one in the back, Conduit Redirector. Other friendly units on the same floor get a bonus. Grant spikes too. Okay. Yeah. So this multi strike is probably a bit of a problem. <laughs> um, but I mean, I think we want to get our guys out here. Combat previews are now enabled. The preview number uh, shows the amount of damage each unit will take during the next combat phase. A red X means it will be defeated. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. Well, I think if we do this, yeah, that gets rid of his spikes. So now we're just going to be good. So let's do that. He does that, and he gets some rage on everybody. Okay. Uh... This guy here, in case anyone does get past our first line here. Um, well, you know, we might as well do this. Like, there's no reason not to, I don't think. Um. I think I want to hold off on this until the boss shows up. Uh, and these guys are all still at full health. Let's bring our train steward in here. So this guy is gonna die because this guy's really on this, okay. Um, so first off, let's get rid of the spikes. Um, and I think giving this guy some regen is gonna be valuable. I think that'll let him survive an extra turn.
All right. Well, we won our second fight. And we get our spoils here. I like this, applying armor. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so all of these are interesting. Um, I kind of like this because we have that guy that, um, you know, he uh, has a a trigger for when he kills someone. So if we could like pull um, support units to the front, that'll let his thing go off more often. All right, so this is improved spells, ritual star higher health, which we don't need. This we get in either direction. Yeah, duplicate any card except your champion. Gained Hellhorned unit. Something interesting can be found in the frozen hellvent caves. Uh, so let's go this way. I think we can duplicate this guy. Well, let's see what this is. So this is like a uh, an event where you usually like face a choice. A penance yard comes into view, a truly terrible sight. Dead hellborn from across the nine rings of hell are strung up as atonement just for existing. At the base of these awful contraptions are some familiar blights, but peeking through you can see something of value underneath the rubble. Which pile do you inspect further? The one with the ember. Gain ember stasis. Gain three calcified ember. Okay, it's an artifact. Okay, playing a blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. Well, that seems nice. Uh, can't really see what that is. The massive stone. Gain penitent remains. Gain three dead weight. Uh, when summoned, friendly units get plus one for every blight card in your deck. <laughs> Broken shards. Uh, when you play your first blight card each turn, restore five pyre health. Blight, reserve your... Pyre takes one less damage. What does this reserve mean? Triggers its card remains in your hand at the end of your turn. Oh, it takes one damage. Okay, so I think blights are kind of like curses and slay the spire. They're just kind of hanging around. Huh. Well, I mean, this one seems like the safest one. Right, it just gives us this one sort of temporary thing, but then we can play Blights. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Alright, the inspector looks to be an ember, but are disappointed to find that it has been hardened into something else, luckily. Some of his green power are there in very different ways. All right. So, a demon fiend. I think I like this guy. Because the other one's a little bit expensive. Daedalus. Heavily armored creations protect this ex-professor on his quest to safeguard Seraph and the winged. Plating steel. Constructed explosives enter with damage shields. Fight. Alright. Alright, Daedalus is the strongest boss you've faced yet. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out other enemies on that floor. Okay. Watch out 
watch out for triggers. This bomb has a triggered ability and will explode on its turn, dealing damage. Mouse over other units with the purple trigger icon to see details of their abilities. Okay. Um. On turn, triggers at this unit's turn. Despawn and deal 10 damage to the front enemy unit. Well, that is kind of bad, and we don't really have any spells that can do anything about that. Um, so let me put this guy up here. Oh, he's going to die. Oh, uh, because this guy, this does 10, and these guys are doing more than 10. That makes sense. <laughs> They're doing six... Well, no, this guy's healing. Okay. And I guess let's, uh, let's get this guy up on the second floor, because he's not going to fit here until the train steward is gone. And I don't think this will do anything, but let's get this guy um, uh, uh, regen. Is this guy all about overcharged apprentice and can't triggers when you cast a spell in this one okay he gets more powerful if we're casting um but i think that's only spells i think we can um still put units in here oh he's gonna get destroyed now uh whoops Ah, uh, because these guys go first. Okay. I should have left this guy in front. And this has a damage shield. Uh... Okay, so now he's not dying. And yeah, let's get this guy up here. I definitely should have kept the armor guy in the front. Uh, Alright, so this is better. This is, he put the bomb on the floor where I don't have anybody. Uh, Alright, well, I like this. Let's, uh, let's help him out with some armor. And these guys will do some damage to uh, to the boss. Okay. 
Okay. Whoa, okay, wait, there's more than one of these? Uh, I need to... I need to figure out what's going on there. Um, well, I don't want to lose my big guy up there. As well, I guess, get the uh, train steward there. Yeah, I thought there was only going to be one of those uh, blight cards. So the imp is, uh, with all this rage bonus, the imp is actually pretty powerful now. Well, so I guess we can purge that, and that does some damage. Uh, we'll get some damage here, too. Great. Even though I didn't uh, didn't play my armored guy as a as a in the front line, which maybe I should have. All right, so we're gonna get coins, a car, a rare pack, a unit draft. Okay, and major enhancements. Spike of the Hellhorned. Apply rage and armor. That's pretty good. Unleash the. Restore friendly units to full health. I kind of like that. Or double... Uh, consume is can only be played once per battle. Okay. Double armor. We do have a few things that cause armor. Um... I think I like this, though. Okay, Animus of Will. Let's see, so This is Sweep is attacks all enemies, so that's an area of effect. This guy, Rejuvenate, I think it triggers whenever you're healed, and Regen uh, counts for that. This guy's pretty good, but I think I like the Animus of Will, because uh, of that multi-strike. So I think that'll be a good um, combo with my guy that gives rage. Okay, Light of Seraph Enhancement. So this is capacity on the floor. Um... I'm gonna try this. Because I think that'll then let us get three, three units on our first floor. 
which I think will uh, improve our synergies. Okay, so what do we have here? This is remove cards, an artifact, prior health, where our prior hasn't been damaged, so we don't need that. This is upgrade your champion, okay. Uh, new units, gain an awoken unit, and gold. <sighs> the artifact is nice. I think we're gonna go this way. We'll get some gold. Get an awoken unit. Another one of these. Yeah, let's do it. And then we'll upgrade. All right, well, we have a lot of money. I kind of like this, but <sighs> multi-strike one. I mean, I think this will cause them to stack. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Yeah, upgrade our champion here. Alright, so he gets more multi-strike, or give him a slay ability. Gain armor 5, revenge, gain range, rage 1. I think I like the multi-strike. Uh, maybe I'm going too heavy on the multi-strike, but... Alright. Undergo trials for greater risk and reward. Activating the trial will make this battle more difficult, but you'll get an extra reward if you win. Okay. Clip Tormentors. They might be low-level recruits, recruits of the Clipped, but they'll overload you with penance if you don't take them out quickly. Armor Emblem. Enemy units enter with armor 15. But we'll get 150 coins. The Porcupine, Relentless. Absolver. Add a weight of contrition card to your top of your draw pile. Well, I'm going to try it because it's uh, you know, a new thing and I haven't done it before. And we have been adding all this multi strike and stuff, so I think we have a lot of damage output now. Uh, well, they're doing 65, or he's got 65, but they don't, they don't do a ton of damage. So it's 25. This guy's going to do 18. All right, so here's my thinking. We'll start this guy in front, then the Hornbreaker Prince. So he's going to do 33 plus 18 is 45. And then this guy in the back, and I think that'll trigger his rage. this guy with a regen because he's going to take a point of damage. Uh -oh. 
Hmm. Okay, so... Well, we want to get this guy. Because we get gold. We have to get rid of this thing if we don't want our pyre to take damage. So we might as well get our... Big multi-striker out here. This is going to work. Oh, I should have checked the numbers on that. So first, let's see, this guy is going to get killed. Um, it will cause one point of damage, which isn't great. This guy... won't be completely killed. Uh... 388. Uh, Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is get rid of this thing. And then hit this guy with a torch. And then another torch. And I thought that would kill him, but apparently not. All right, well, I just did the math wrong there. Whoops. Oh, it's because this guy died. Okay, that makes sense. This guy attacks first, so she's gonna die. Huh. And the Hornbreaker Prince is gonna die as well. Well, I kind of screwed this up, huh? Alright, I'm gonna do this. I mean, I think it's it's not the end of the world if the pyre takes a little bit of damage. Um, I mean, obviously you don't want it to take damage. <laughs> Okay, uh... Well... I 
guess let's do this, and that'll make this guy a bit of a shield. guys are all going to die. I think let's just now try to go to the middle level. Yeah, the mouse is a little bit uh, sluggish when I'm Trying to do this, and I'm gonna put these guys in front just so they're like meat shields for the guy in the back. I don't uh, want to speed up combat. Click the game speed button in the top right to toggle the speed. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't think this one's gonna go so well because uh, we just don't have damage output against this guy. Um. Let's get rid of this, and this, and I guess this will this will at least do six damage. Uh, I guess bring these guys to the front, or one of these guys. I suppose our pyre itself does some damage, so... And this guy... He only does 12 per shot, so we might survive. Yeah, but we did not run this, uh, this battle very well. Alright, well... That. Scroll up. Now scroll down, right here. I don't think this is really going to do anything. Uh, because these guys attack first, I need sort of a shield in front if I want to do that. one, but just barely. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, at least we got bonus gold for it. <laughs> um, I like the armor. 
I think I'm gonna go with this welder helper. Regen 5, I kind of like. Oh, a little rough. Uh, there is, over here, this is a Pyre Health Restorer, so that's probably something we want to look at. This is improves magic. This removes cards from the deck. This is... Money, upgrade units, and an event. Hmm. Well, I mean, we have a lot of money now. We could do with some upgrade. I guess we can use use, spell, use it on spells. Um, although I'm not crazy about what our spells do. But I think we have to go this way. Just I'm worried about the health of our, of our pyre. So remove cards. You can get rid of this thing. Um, maybe get rid of the torches. They're just not good enough. I think that thing is just too expensive. Even though we've got that, you know, it triggers a superpower, but... Okay. Upgrade a spell to gain permafrost. It isn't discarded. Okay. Makes it cheaper. Improves power. Well, probably want to make something better. This being more powerful is probably pretty good, right? It gets 10 to both of them. I think that's probably worthwhile. Um... Let's re-roll these and get some better choices. Hmm, that's interesting, but I think... I think I like that. Uh, this is... Interesting. This could be interesting. Um, I think I like this, and then let's also make it cheaper. Alright. Yeah, this is... I, I'm enjoying this quite a bit here. Hidden Assault. Sneaky Clipped have infiltrated your train. Use spells and higher floors to take them out. Self-made harpy. Multi-strike four. Yikes. Overcharged tank. Harvest. Gain 10 hour when it triggers when a unit on this floor dies. Yowza. Oh, okay. That's the silent marksman. Stealth one. You, not a target in combat. Loses one stack every turn. Interesting. Okay. Non-boss, uh, with spikes four, we would get a random artifact, but I think um, because our pyre health is low, I think we need to not do the trial. All right, so these guys are stealthy, which means they are not going to be targetable on this first floor here. So, um, let's just make our second floor more of our uh, main place.
All right, well, this is already fine, except we're going to lose this guy. Why is that? Because these guys do seven each. Well, there's no way around that. <laughs> Oh, these guys still attack us. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, well. Let me scroll up, see what's happening up here. I think we want to hurt this guy so this guy's slight trigger goes off. And we can hit this guy with some restores. Oh, well, the slight trigger didn't even go off. Okay, I guess I looked at the math wrong there. There was probably some armor involved or something. First of all, let's get rid of this guy. See how that goes. guys up there are already at full health, so might as well hit down there. Ah, oh, that was that was dumb. I should have triggered the rage. Oh well. If 
500. Yikes. And this guy does multi attacks, but he's not super strong, so that's okay. Um, so I think we want to get rid of some of these stealthy guys in the back. Because we can't fight them any other way. if they do get up here. It's, it's our advantage to have an extra guy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we're doing enough damage um, to beat 500 HP. I guess we'll see what happens on the next floor here. Uh, yeah, only 78. Um, Yeah, it probably would have been better if I had uh, gotten an extra rage trigger last turn, or if I had uh, that spell that I have that's supposed to give a huge amount of rage, if I could have ever gotten that off on one of my multi-attackers. Well, okay. Uh... Yeah, I think this guy has killed us. Like, I don't see how we can possibly survive this. So some misplays, but also I think just we weren't strong enough coming into this fight. And this guy is like a terrible monster <laughs> who is uh, way more powerful than any of the previous bosses we faced. Uh, and the stealthy guys were a problem. So. All right, well, yeah, so that was our first run. Uh, so even though we lost, I uh, I was having quite a bit of fun there. Okay, march of shields. Move a unit to the front and apply 10 armor. Hell yeah. Alright, Ashes of the Fallen. Summon abilities trigger an additional time. Hell yeah. Alright. Yeah, and so there are various uh, other factions, right? So we sort of like, you have... Um, the cards you can potentially get in the deck are related to the various clans. Um, so these are like our basic ones, you know, so most of them, most of our things were Hellhorned. We had a few Awoken mixed in, like our Animus of Will. Um, but then there are also these other ones that you unlock by, by playing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All Alright, well, that was our first run of Monster Train. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, yeah, and I hope you come back next time. Bye!